I'm filming a few videos today, but this video is about how to use a ratchet strap. Now, in your lorry, you're going to have two parts. You're going to have one of these. I know you are shown how to do this on your CPC, but for those of you that are still struggling or haven't done it yet, that's why I'm making this. And then you also have your strap. Now, what you do is, all around the lorry, you've got these latching points here that come out and you put your hooks on those things you have them all along your lorry and you have to make sure that when you're loading that the forklift driver puts the boxes in line with the hook so you can put the straps on there but you'll pick that up anyway so you have your strap thrown it over the box or whatever you carry in. You've hooked it on this end and then you've got your ratchet strap the other end. You would hook this one on the hook on that side and then you have it so this side of the hook is towards the lorry so if I was over there that's how I'm going to hook it on like that this side then with your strap all you have to do is put it through there like that towards you that's all you have to do so make sure your hook is pointing that way you've hooked it on job done and you just put the strap through there this way backwards and you bring it towards you like that now Sometimes you pick one of these up and when you're trying to feed the strap through this part here is in a funny position but you don't have to worry about that because to release one of these you pull this lever here, you pull that up to release it and then you can push that back and then you can just ratchet it around so it's facing you. So put that through there, feed it towards you as much as you can, once it's nice and tight you can hold it with your thumb there so it stops it slipping and then you can wrap it like that. Now what I do when we've got a bit of tension is I tend to hold it a bit lower here just so I don't get my fingers caught in anything like that all the way down until it's tight. Now when you've finished and you've done that to the most strength that you've got you just pull that and then close it down job done tuck your access strap under your box or whatever you're carrying so it's not in the way and then you're good to go you've strapped down whatever you've strapped down now when you get to the other end and you've delivered it and you want to release it all you do is you come to your ratchet strap and you just pull this thing again pull it up and then push it back and usually you hear a bang or a click but then you release it. Now what some people do is pull that out there. That's too much for me, because on my first week my arms were killing me. So what I tend to do is hold that and then pull this away so the hook's got it. I don't know if you can see there. I just pull it towards me and then it comes out without doing my arms in. Failing that, you could just pull it out like that. You've got to make sure that it's pretty much straight when you're doing that. Yeah, like that. Now, usually, what you then have to do is you want to wind this up. Some of these straps are quite long. So when you wind it up, you would start there and wind it all the way, which takes a while. Or, someone showed me, you can kind of half fold it like that, well not half fold it but you know what I mean, and then start it like that so it saves your arms a bit. Now I'm going to show you all the way so you can see how long this takes and you can imagine doing six, seven of these at the end of the day after your arms have gone because you're new to trucking and you're not used to the exercise like me. As I was a teacher, I'm not used to this. It takes a while to do that. Now I'm going to show you a very kind man who delivers to our yard, introduced me to a gadget. Now, let me show you this gadget. This thing is a 
godsend. So this is a strap winder. Now when you're doing six or seven of these after you've just delivered something, maybe you delivered a full lorry, and you've got quite a few of these to wind up, it usually takes ages. But this gizmo, what a very kind man who delivers to our yard gave me, you put your strap in there, and then you put your strap in there, and then watch how fast this is. Job done. And that is far easier and less strenuous than winding them by hand, especially when you've got a lot to do. Now, it's called on here the ratchetshop.co.uk and it's also called here an easy winder. I don't know where he got it from, but I'm sure you can get them off Amazon or something. But yeah, that's really handy, so I do recommend that. That saves me a lot of time at the end of the day. But that's it for now. That was how to use a ratchet strap. Hopefully this video was helpful. Make sure that you wear gloves when you use them because you don't want to get your fingers caught. But yeah, if you like my videos, click a like. And if you want to keep up with me, you can subscribe. Otherwise, see you in the next one.